Hi, my name is David Merrill. I'm from Ogallala High School. And this is every 13 minutes. Somewhere, this moment, there's a 16-year-old girl with tired eyes and a blank stare. A 16-year-old girl that hears only the words that echo through her mind, rhythmic, like a metronome. That fake freak. Somewhere, this moment, there's a 37-year-old veteran with a weak heart and a broken soul. A 37-year-old vet that sees only the image of his best friend's smile, which faded with his heartbeat and with the color in his bright blue eyes. Somewhere this moment, there's a 17-year-old boy with weak knees and drooping shoulders. A gay 17-year-old boy that feels only the fear that comes with bearing parental discontent over what's between the legs of his lover. To them, the body means more than the soul. The words, the images, the fear become too much to bear, and soon they can't seem to find a reason to care anymore. The body becomes sore and the mind follows suit until they fold their cards, despite having the potential of pocket aces, until they end it all by their own hands. Three laughs never to be heard again. Three bodies never to be felt again. Three lives just ended because they looked up at the sky and said, if I die today, the sun will rise tomorrow, the birds will still sing, this grass will still grow, and the universe will go on unchanged. While these people, these lives, may be just words on a page or sounds in the air, every 13 minutes, someone else can no longer find a reason to care. That is 42,677 lives lost to suicide last year. That is 14 of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, 329 of the terrorist attacks on the city of Paris, and 1,645 Sandy Hook school shootings. That's that girl Sally who lives next door, who you've had a crush on since the third grade, but became really insecure in high school. That's that boy, Mark, who was so excited for college but bit off way more than he could chew and is suffocating under unrealistic expectations. And that's that young mother, Martha, who picks up every shift she can at the diner as she struggles to feed her baby boy but just can't figure out how to make it to the end of the month. That's your neighbor, your coworker, your lover, your uncle, and that's your best friend. We say we don't see the signs and act so surprised, but the truth, as cold and dead as these bodies in the ground, is this is something we can stop. These are people we can save. All right, y'all.